Hey guys, today I am going to be planning part three of my monthly kit Smackdown. The kit I'm gonna be using is this monthly kit from the Glam Planner. If you haven't been keeping up in, with the series, um, what I've been doing this week is trying out three different monthly kits to kind of give you guys a comparison of like what I think would be the most functional, um, looking at you know how they kind of compare in terms of like the icons and like what they include in the kits and just trying to give you guys a sense of that. So. So on Sunday I posted a Shop Jessica Hearts video, or her monthly kit, and on Tuesday I posted Scribble Prince Co.'s monthly kit, um, Plan With Me. So I'll link those both down below if you want to check them out. Um, and this will be the final kit that I'm able to do this month. I am um, only have three Erin Condren style planners I can do. I might try out more kits next month. I really want to do the Planning Roses one to compare those to these three for you guys um, and just for myself as well. So. Um, I'll, I'll definitely um, let you know if I'm going to be able to continue this next month. But this calendar might look a little wonky because I'm actually doing this. This is the old Erin Condren notebook where you could get a calendar spiraled into it. It is still um, sized exactly the same as a regular Erin Condren calendar, except for the fact that you can see it's not numbered. So there is a little reference calendar down in the corner. So I'll just, um, you know, kind of cover those. That's why I used a kit that came with date dots for this one um, because it you can cover those um, with the circle dots um, that come with the Glam Planner Kit. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And similar to the other, um, other kits I've used this week, the I believe the Glam Planner August Kit and going forward is sized for the new Erin Condren. So that means the top bar is a little thicker than the... Um, than um, the old one. So this like bar is like a little thinner than it is in the new version. So if you want to match up your stickers perfectly, you line up the bottom so that if you lined up the top, it would cut into the um, calendar itself. So just line up the bottom and that works. And FYI, I did buy this Glam Planner kit in matte. Uh, at the end, I'll talk a little bit about prices. Someone commented on my first video, like the Shop Jessica Hearts one, like, oh, you didn't talk about prices. And I was like, oh, great, great point. Like, definitely will mention that. They're all pretty similarly priced, so that's kind of why I didn't think of it. But um, definitely a good point when considering these kits. So she has this top bar. They all come with a top bar thing. And then these are to cover the days that aren't in the month. And in August, it's these three down here. Okay, so I covered those up. The, do I kind of, I wish I had, no, that looks good. Okay, and then let me go ahead and do this sidebar thing. She has this like goals for the month. And I think this, I forget what she said in her video. Luckily, this is the mat, so if I screw up, I can fix it. I think she said it's like, you can do this, and then one header, and then a little list, and then another header, and a list, and then that fits perfectly. Um, so I'm gonna do a don't forget, and I've got goals, maybe to do. Yeah. Maybe not don't forget, maybe I'll do important. Okay, yeah, that fits perfectly with the two headers. Okay, cool. There is kind of the base of the kit. Um, so next what we have to work with, we have all these little labels and she suggests kind of combining them with these icons, which I think could look really cute um, to mark like um, different events. So I'm gonna do this similar to the Scribble Prince Co. video, um, I'm not going to talk through my plans quite as much just because I did that with the first video in the series, Shop Jessica Hearts, and you guys don't need to hear me babble on about the different events I have. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is um, go ahead and like do a little bit more sped up. So I think first I'm going to do my bills due. And I'm going to go through with, she has these. She has these for bills and paydays. Except for she only has three bill dues, so that's kind of annoying. Um, but she has five paydays, <laughs> but three bills. Okay, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna do some bills um, like this, and I guess I'll do some others maybe on this strip. Um, 
yeah, I guess that's what I'll do. So I'm gonna try this. I'll put some of them like this and some of them. Okay, and then next, uh, so I put my bills down. I did have to use some like this, but I think that's fine. I tried to do that on the days that I'll have something else to put there so that the flag doesn't interfere. You'll, you'll, it'll make more sense in a second. Next, I'm gonna put down this Happy Sisters Day thing, I guess. I don't have a sister. I have a sister-in-law, but I'll put it down. I need to look up when it is, though, because she didn't put a number on it, so... It is Sunday, August 7th, so I'm gonna go put this on that day. And then I also want to take this final um, kind of date cover. I'm going to put that on the 29th. And by the way, I'm referencing another calendar, which is kind of how I know without putting down the date dots yet, which um, days are what. So I'm going to put this down. Okay, so there are kind of the date covers. So this is the day I'm starting my new job. So I want to uh, put this, I'm gonna put something for that. I'll put um, an asterisk. So I can kind of block that day. So next I'm gonna do my vacations. Um, so I'm taking two shorter trips in August, um, one goes thurs this Thursday, the 11th, we're leaving after work and coming back on Monday. So she does have these strips, so I'm gonna use these. And then in the other ones I used like a flag, but she doesn't have any flags that don't have words on it and her icon wouldn't fully cover um, the, the, the words. So I'm gonna just do it like this and I'll take this plane going up. And that'll kind of mark the beginning of the trip. And then I need to do the second half over here. I hope I'm going to, oh, I think I'll just have just enough strip. So that's good. Um, and this goes down here. And then for the second trip, it's just Friday through Sunday. So I'll mark that out. So she only had one car icon. So I'm not sure what to do. She doesn't have a home icon either. I think she did say for September she's changing up these icons a bit. Um, so, <laughs> I guess I just won't put one there and that'll just have to be the end of the trip and that's fine. Okay, so next I want to work on marking out my actual events um, and I will do that with the... Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to go through with the date dots first, um, and I think I'll do that off camera. So I will be back in a minute. I just want to put those down so I can start to kind of see them filled in because it's kind of bothering me, the circles. Okay, so I went ahead and did the date dots on the entire spread, and I actually um, like these. I was worried they were going to look kind of like weird and big and like I wouldn't... I don't know, almost too childish, but A, they were a ton easier to place because they were so big, and B, I do feel like they really pop when they're this big, and in her September kit, I believe, um, she said in her video, they're actually flags instead of circles, um, which I think the flags will look even cuter than the circles, so I'm definitely excited about that, and I was... I thought these would look dumb, I'm not gonna lie, the big date dots, but I actually like them and they're definitely easier to use. So, I am going to go through now with the icons um, all in the strips and kind of mark down different stuff um, for the month and basically all of my events. Cause I have my bills, I have my trips and I have my paydays. So now I need to go through and mark down the various events I have going on this month. So I'm gonna do that and I'll come back and show you. <laughs> So I filled in all my events. The last thing I want to do, I think this August book is a cute idea. I'm debating whether it could go like maybe just there. I don't really want to put it on a day of the month. 
So I think I can just cover up these kind of these bottom. Kind of do it like this. Yeah, I think that works. Um, I think that's cute. Okay, so I think that is everything. Let me open it up. Oh, and then there are these. So I have no need for any of these, to be perfectly honest. In a monthly spread, I'm not gonna mark down that I'm doing the dishes. I'm not gonna mark down that I'm taking a bath. I'm not gonna mark down with a huge giant laundry basket that I'm doing laundry. The only two I could see using maybe are the pill, like if you need to like start a new cycle or something, nails to maybe mark down a nail appointment and cleaning to mark down a cleaning appointment. But I still think they're too big for this space. Like I just think they would take up, like especially compared to like these little icons, I think they just take up too much room. So I kind of, these are kind of wasted on me. I will keep them because I think they're cute for like a regular, like regular spread, but not for a monthly view in my opinion. So let me go ahead and open this up and show it to you guys all together. So let me show you what I have left besides these um, stickers that I didn't use. Um, she does give you a selection for the um, sidebar headers, which I personally like a lot. So I have some of those left over. I, oh, I could mark down my days off. Except for I just, there, there are days where I'm already have the strips and like a payday, like I would have to mark down it on Friday and I just, there's not really room. It's a cute idea and concept, but I don't think it works for me this month. Um, like, let's see, I would put it down here. Actually, that's kind of cute. I'm taking, oh no, that Friday's not really a day off though. I'm just kind of not working that day. Day off, does that work? Yeah, I'll put these down. Let's put these down. Just, just so we can say we really use the kit to its fullest, right? Okay, day off. And then it would be again on Monday is a day off. I mean, I think the gold sparkle is cute, but yeah, so I, I just wouldn't mark down a me day and I don't plan a sick day in advance, so I wouldn't mark that down, I guess. Um, the asterisks are nice. Good variety of icons. I would have done things a little differently. Even as a YouTuber, I wouldn't use YouTube stuff in my monthly view. And I know for a lot of people, they definitely wouldn't use that. I think she did say she's changing that up. I like that she had a dentist and a doctor's appointment. I like that she had just kind of generic appointment ones. I like that she had some planes. Um, she only had one car, like I said. She only had one happy hour, but I realize that's probably appropriate for most. A couple more birthdays in certain months. I would probably need a few more than this has. Um, but yeah, so overall, I think this is a very solid kit. I got it in matte. I found the matte very easy to work with. I really liked that I could lift stuff up if it was crooked or just readjust. I still did a little bit of crookedness, but I'm just, I guess, being lazy. Um, so let me talk across the three kits. Let me refresh. Let me get out the other two spreads just to refresh you on what they look like. Okay, so now time for my final thoughts on comparing the three different kits. Um, apologies if the lighting looks like it's changed. I had actually filmed this and I felt like it was really jumbled and I didn't really summarize my thoughts well. So now I'm here, I wrote down some notes for myself so I can really um, kind of articulate what I liked and didn't like about each kit and ultimately which one I think I would pick in the future. So I'm gonna go through each kit and talk about what I liked and what I didn't. I'm not gonna talk as much about the stuff that's the same on each of them. Like they all have these cover-ups, they all have some sort of check side checklist, although they did do those differently and I'll talk about that. Um, so yeah, so th those aren't as important to me. And honestly, you know, you people have preferences on the clip art used and that's just very subjective. So I'm not gonna comment as much on that either. But in terms of functionality, Shop Jessica Hearts, I think one really positive thing is you're just getting a lot for the money. Um, I think she has the most sidebar headers. She had the most vacation strips. Um, she had the most of these like individual day covers. Um, and I think she had a really good selection of icons. Um, pretty much one for everything, not one for happy hour, but she did have enough generic icons that I never felt like I was like missing one. Um, I really like that her kit includes something for the next month, this calendar. I think that's super innovative and also just like really functional, you know, like if you are trying to think about your next month and when you're looking at August, it is useful to have September right there. Uh, and I also think that for this kit in particular, her vacation strips stand out the best. I 
really like um, that they seem to really visually pop and almost like mark out those days better. The other two kits used prints that were in the um, style of the clip art and so they almost blend in like with the surroundings but here I feel like the gold strips really like mark those days out. Um, in terms of negatives, I would say the main negative with this kit for me is that it's harder to work with. I talked about this in the um, video that will be linked below where I actually planned with this, but basically you end up putting her stickers, you don't put them on the line, you put them in the line, and in general I found it a lot harder to get things straight and perfectly centered in the box. Like you can see here I like struggled um, with several of them. So that kind of was one thing I didn't like as much about her kit. Um, another was that she didn't have like um, some of the others had variety in like the how they mark things but everything for her was kind of this like just rectangle shape. She had a few of these flags but they didn't have any words on them um, and only she only had like four um, but all the bill dues all the paydays all of that was kind of in the rectangle that you would put at the bottom of the square which I like that because it looks streamlined but at the same time, I think the um, flags add a little bit more interest. Um, this is probably just a personal thing, but I wish the um, checklist on the side had check boxes, um, just because I like to check things off. Um, and finally, I just find these little tiny date covers kind of annoying to put on, but you can always skip those if you want them. I do think they really pull the spread together, so I probably would do it in the future. Um, but I just, you know, kind of takes some time is just one thing. So that's Shop Jessica Hearts. Overall, I think this is a really, really, really good option. I, um, I just, I think it's super functional at the end of the day. I think it had everything I wanted, plenty of bill dues, plenty of icons, plenty of vacation strips. I never felt like I was missing something or like had to conserve using something in order to save it for next time. So, or for the next week. So it was really good. Okay, so moving on to Scribble Prints Co. was next. So this uh, Scribble Prints Co. spread, um, overall I liked it. I really like the clip art she used, but again, if I know that's kind of a subjective preference. Um, in terms of the things I liked about the functionality of this kit, I think that she is a, a like a, I think the variety of the strips and the mini events mini events is interesting. I like using the mini events for things like vacation or paydays or like little reminders like that. Um, I less liked it for like bill dues and I wouldn't use it for like any real events like appointments or happy hours or things like that. But I did like it for little reminders like birthdays and um, paydays. So I kind of liked those. Um, I think she had the best variety of icons. She had a ton of icons in there. You got two full sets of like her mini icons and every single thing I wanted to do I had an icon for it. I had two cars, I had two happy hours, I had hearts, I had like so I felt like it was a really good variety of icons. Um, and then she also did have a good number of day covers. Shop Jessica Hearts did have one more but she had a really she had a good variety here that um, you could pull into the spread to add some decoration which I liked. Um, I would say for the negatives with this kit, there were not enough side headers. There were only these four. Um, I covered one up with like a little mini event sticker. You can always write your own in, but I like when there's like an official header. I just think it looks more like, I don't know, official. Like it looks like it's part of the spread as opposed to like my handwriting. Um, I found that there weren't quite enough dent uh, event strips. I was able to, I think I used every single one that came. Yeah, I used every single one that came in the kit. There were only eight. I definitely have months where if I was traveling less, I'd be having more at-home events, and I would have run out of them. And I really don't want to have to use the mini events for to mark down events. Um, similarly, I don't really like using these for bill dues. I think it's nice to be able to check it off, but I think it looks less cute than like a flag, and it was too small to have to like... It's like good in theory because you could write it in and then check it off, but it was too kind of too small for me to write in and look neat um, and doesn't draw enough attention to it in my opinion. Uh, the uh, vacation strips were, I kind of noted this in my plan with me, they were, they're just like different widths, which I just thought was kind of weird. Um, just something random. And then finally she didn't include date covers, which I know I say they're a pain and I do maintain that they are a pain to put down, 
but I do think they give the like a very cohesive spread look like they make they pull the whole spread together so I do like having them and um, it would be something I would look for in the future so that is Scribble Prints Co overall I think it's a decent kit I think from the way I want to use my monthly view it doesn't draw enough attention to some of the things I find important like um, bills and there wouldn't be enough like event stuff so it's a, I think if you want a little bit of a cleaner look or you want to have more room to decorate and just keep your events very minimal I think this is a good option but for me I'm not sure this is my personal favorite then finally glam planner I um, really liked this kit as well I liked her deco a lot she kind of did the gold glitter thing too like shop Jessica Hearts um, I overall found this to be a very solid kit um some specific positives i really like that she had a combination of flags and strips um i like that she had the payday flags i think those look super cute and i like the day off flags as well i'm not so sure about the bill do flags because i didn't like having to write what the bill is next to it um and if she, but if she's gonna keep those then i would want there to be more she only had three of them which is not nearly enough for the bills in my month um and then for other positives, I thought she had really, like she had good header selection for the side. A lot of the stuff was generic, but that's fine because you can have, um, you know, you can kind of interpret it the way you want to interpret it. Um, I liked how she did the kind of icon strip mix match thing. I think it's a different look than circle icons and I think it looks very cute and like a little bit more geometric in a, in a good way than her other, um, or than other kits. And then finally, I really liked her date covers. I was surprised that I liked them so much because I really thought they were gonna look like too kindergarten-y, but in terms of functionality, they were perfect and they, um, like they were super easy to put down and they just like make it really easy to see the dates as well. I really like that in the September kit, she's moving to a flag because I think that'll just look a little bit more like clean, like in less kindergarten-y. Um, but I really actually liked the big date dots a lot. Like I surprised myself. Um, kind of the negatives with her kit, she didn't have as many day covers. Um, she like, she had these two decorative ones and then obviously she had the days for not in the month but everybody had that and then she just had the one holiday one um she didn't have as many bill dues as i wanted like i mentioned um the sidebar i liked the headers i almost wish this one was not this like the goals i kind of wish that was a customizable section as well like i think goals for the month is generic enough that it's fine but i ended up covering up some of it with the august book which is a cute idea by the way um but i covered up some of it with the august book because i didn't need to list that many goals in my opinion and i'd almost rather have like different categories to track different things and then finally, I think that Elle has a tendency sometimes to put dumb holidays in her monthly kits. That's like a random note, but like this month she put Sister's Day. I remember back in May, I didn't get her May kit because she put her own birthday in there. And I was just like, girl, I'm not going to mark your birthday in my planner. Like, I'm sorry. But so it's just like one thing to be aware of. If you do like look at her kits in the future, check to make sure you like the holidays because those tend to be like the only date cover, day cover she includes. So if you don't like it, like I don't have a sister. Like I don't, I just don't know if she thinks about the fact that other people are not her when she designs these kits, but um, just one like final note. So Overall, the question is, what kit am I going to get for September? And I will say that for me, I think in the future, it's going to come down to whose clip art do I like better between, I think I've kind of, in my mind, ruled out getting the Scribble Prince Co. kit in the future. I, it was not as functional for me. I don't like the mini days. Unless I really love the clip art, I think I'd go with something a little bit more functional. And then it comes down to Shop Jessica Hearts or Glam Planner. And I think ultimately part of it will depend on the clip art. They're similar enough in their functionality that, and they have each have kind of things that I like about both of them, um, that it might be a toss up in terms of, uh, like in terms of which clip art I like better. I also am not um, willing to put down my quest to find the perfect um, monthly kit, so I think I might still try one or two others next month. But I think my current plan is to go with Shop Jessica Hearts for September. 
there's still a chance I might do like a last minute change up to the glam planner once I see um, like the listing in the shop of the different changes she's made. Like I want to take a look at what the icons are. Um, I really liked, she did a like a pre-sale, but she didn't have like close-ups of all the pictures, so I didn't buy it then. Um, and I also wanted to do this whole comparison, obviously. So she did a pre-sale and I really liked the clip art. Like it felt like more, I know it doesn't match the September colors, but it felt like really pretty and very fall. Whereas um, Shop Jessica Hearts had a lot of the purple, which I normally love purple, but it doesn't feel super fall to me. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm leaning towards Shop Jessica Hearts because I think it's probably the most functional, but I'm gonna take a look look at the Glam Planner one close up to see what changes she made. And I also think I'm going to check out the Planning Roses, who also has a bunch of purple in her spread, but she had it with wood, and I think the wood looks very fall to me and makes it a lot more fall looking. So part four might be coming next month to continue this little series to do a smackdown with Planning Roses, but for now, I think the winner in terms of functionality for me is the Shop Jessica Hearts kit. So. That is my final verdict for this month. Let me know what you guys thought below. Let me know if you totally kind of disagree and one of these other kits would be a lot more functional for you. Or maybe there's another one that I've totally missed and I should be using. So definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think about monthly view kits and what your, um, what your preferences are. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this series. I really enjoyed making it. I kind of like doing these um, more kind of not critical but like more thoughtful uh uses of the kits as opposed to just like everything's pretty and everything's great um you know i just kind of like to think a little bit like about how we all choose to spend our money so that's something i enjoy doing let me know if you if that is something you guys appreciate or if you just rather like you know hear that everything's pretty so Anyway, give this video a thumbs up again if you like this series and subscribe if you want to see more. Like I said, I'll be back in September with another Smackdown on the Planning Roses kit. So, and I'll, in between now and then I'll have a ton of other videos. So definitely subscribe. I appreciate it. And I will be back with another video tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.